So, uh, we're gonna go live here, and you'll notice, as you can see, there's no overlay, guys. We're obviously classic from a demo. Oh, wait. We don't want to know how long this is gonna go. Ah. And you'll notice when I'm moving around the free camera, it's really jittery, so I'm just gonna be sticking to player perspectives here, guys. So, I'm gonna be looking at dead bodies a lot. Uh, we've got a... Triple Assault 1 Support 1 Recon setup. Looks like Suna's going for that drop down. Maybe Rain going with him. Boxite's holding up the rear Shazam and Hosomi looking for a dual recon setup, but splitting up. Yeah. Looks like. I'm curious to see how the recon's doing on our team. Yeah, Hosomi's pushed Where's up pretty going? far in that uh, section. The freaking's holding up an angle. Agile meets Hosomi in the what? elevator. Does finally manage to take her down with three super shots. Suna winning the battle in the vents versus uh, Shazam. Uh, it's one thing I didn't mention. The, the, I think the vents are going to be a hot contest on this map. Um, yeah. I mean, Shazam likes to go up there. And I think Suna kind of knows that. <laughs> so. It's also arguably the strongest flanking potential in this map. Uh, Osuna's going in somewhere, but I can't get to him. Oh, alright, he's on Ghost. It looks like he's calling out. Boxite's trying to stop them from picking up the Ghost, but there's too way too many win or GB players there. And Putty gets the last kill! Yeah, so I heard it didn't start too well for us, but uh... Get off the fucking XX! <laughs> uh, I mean, Spoilers! Well, sorry. Uh, looks well, like a uh, very clean sweep. Only The only person who got anything done in that round uh, was Boxite on Dis's side. Looks like we've got a another similar setup, the double recon setup on Dis. But it looks like we're paused, because it looks like they're got some maybe issues with the settings, like the auto... Oh, Shazam crashed. Maybe he's oh, piss pissing piss again. Oh yeah, that was not that was a bit of an issue that, that he had. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Trying hard not to spoil. <laughs> <laughs> really, really hard. It's really hard to cast from the stream. Actually, there is a bit of a. It's like a five second delay. Oh, so that's I'm pretty long. Well. Okay. Um, let me know yeah. when you're ready to hop in the demo, and I can give you the point to jump uh, in on. Hang on, let me. I uh, will just pause. Oh, goodbye, soft. Uh, we'll just pause this here real quick. So. Yeah, give me a second to. Yeah, no rush. So one thing uh, that I guess I'll just talk about the map while we're waiting is. Uh, so Rise is kind of like the dust two of NT, which most uh, old players know. So the all of the players on GB are going to be extremely practiced on this map. Now that's not to say that Dis aren't going to be aware of that. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is uh, Dis had a, a addition to their roster this year. They added Hosumi, who was on um, Team Ons All Hammer No Sickle last year. Um, she's known to be like a very aggressive recon player, just like flying in there and trying to get kills, and she either gets kills or she dies. Um, she can play other classes like support, and she's pretty solid at that, but generally speaking, would, we, recon is what she's known for. Yeah, we wanted a recon with some decent experience. What tick are you on? Okay, so I am on... Uh, tick 9397. Give me just a second. Yeah, no rush. Um, so it, so traditionally on this map, recon's a little harder to play just because it's a lot of corridors and stuff. So the recons generally like the vents because they can flank through them and drop down and do all this nasty stuff while the enemy's distracted. Um, the classic is like a recon sitting in the vent and server and just kind of staring at it. And then once somebody gets in view, they just blast them. Um, super okay. recon can be extremely I think I'm strong. Ready to go, by the way, if you want to do a... A three, two, one. Okay. Uh, I'll count down from five, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. So we've just had the first round, basically. Correct. So we're waiting for uh, Shazam to get back in. Oh, one reminder. One thing most teams forget is you can use one tactical timeout any match for free. Uh, the tech timeouts are obviously for stuff like this, where a player disconnects. Like, they crashed and stuff, so... Is someone having to go to the loo a tactical or a tech timeout? Uh, that's a tactical, because uh, your setup is fine. Sorry that your beat bag needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just asking, because... You know, like, if you gotta... Like, I'm sure the other... Like, it depends on the other team. I'm sure if the enemy team's just like, yeah, fine, it's not a problem, it's not a problem. But, I mean, to be fair, you deal one tech and that's it, so... Alright, right. we're... 
I think we're going live again, aren't we? Yeah, it looks like we still got Hosomi rocking that recon and ho oh, I don't see Shazam and that's not- Oh, okay, he made it in. So we got still got the double recon setup. It's a very aggressive setup for Rise. I don't yeah. really like it personally, but if you can double team someone, that's great. But they're Brains splitting up. That's kind of surprising to me. I don't know. It's Rise, so more meat is generally better. Um, especially if he only has a ZRC, I guess. I hate the ZRC, but that's another t day for another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that another day. <laughs> Shazam's lurking I mean, in the vents. He wants to get that kill on Suna, but no, Suna's not biting right now. Suna's just holding an angle. Yeah. We've got and two. Shazam is vents again. We've got two players from Dis on the Ghost. They do mention two v one Agile. Good kill by them. So I'd like to see them pick up the Ghost and actually start calling. Um, one thing you can do on this map, be a good. Hosobi picks it up. Wise play. Um, is you can threaten a drop down and force the enemy back to their sky bridge. Their skybridge cap. Yeah, I I don't know if that works out so well that often. I think it catches like more experienced teams yeah. out, but especially now when you have this many players left alive. Yeah, but so many is like a dedicated like ghost cooler, I guess. So it's not surprising that she went straight for that. Yeah, Sh uh, Shazam was called out there, and finally gets killed by Suna. Yeah. Putty called him out from server, and then Suna came in to finish the job. Hosby's still yeah, hanging so on to the ghost. I don't actually like their position here. They're now effectively trapped in small construction, and that's now where you want to be with less players and also the ghost. Hosby's now going up to threaten the drop down, but I think it's too late. Now you're at a player disadvantage, so it looks like they're just trying to maybe move as a team and say, hey, if you want to come get the ghost, if you want to win the round, we're, come to us, we'll kill you. It's already covered off there. Oh, but this does take that Suna. Yeah, Suna pushing a little bit too far too fast, maybe not expecting the whole team to be there. Yeah, he didn't do a huge amount of damage. Oh. oh, good nade? Yeah, that gets Ooh. pretty good. Sick. This is gonna be a timeout though. Now this is the why I like doing this strat, is because you can guarantee the, a tie or a win. You should never lose here. Because they have yeah, to always true. respect at least one player that can drop, right? So... Like, because you have to send a player to go attack them, and then it's a two v one, or you send two players to attack them, and you know it's just yeah. uh, it does divide or force them to divide, or mm -hmm. kind of or have them force them to settle on the tie, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so as soon as piss goes down, I mean we'll drop. But... She needs to drop the ghost. Plus, there's yeah. no reason to hang on. Okay, there she goes. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say. Kind of reluctant to give it up, I guess. I will say but though was, that uh, if no you. Way. Or, sorry for talking over you. Uh, if you throw a nade, it air bursts right at the top of that roof from like um, the sky bridge. So if you're too yeah. close to the edge, you can absolutely get naded. I've been demolished that way. I've been before. caught by that. Yeah, you know, ups before. Uh, weapon swap onto Suna. Looks like yeah, he's got an I just MX. Got the, got the corpse, so he's giving him the MX. Looks like. I think that's something we need to do a bit more, but uh. Effective weapon swaps. I don't really like the MX, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Hosomi is flying into small oh. construction, but there's nobody here. Suna kills Shazam, Shazam again. again. Really getting the better of those trades so far. And the MX possibly making a bit of a difference there. Oh, undoubtedly. But Pist and Bork's replying pretty well. Yeah, now it's a 4v3 all of a sudden. Ah, oh, but Hosomi gets sort of flanked by rain somehow. <laughs> she pushed so far up, but just somehow, like, two ships in the night, they pass, and then yeah. uh, Crane gets the drop on their back. As soon as those vents, though, right above your pissed off, I don't know if either is aware of each other. I don't think they are. I mean, uh, everyone on, uh, actually, frequency are reasonably healthy, but, but Borks and Pissed are now. So there is a, also a vent that drops away. into that long way. Oh, there's soon as dropping. Yeah. Can he get it a second? No, Piss gets him. Ah, Piss gets him. Probably, maybe wasn't expecting two to be there. I find it really hard to get kills, like, dropping out of the vents, though. I, I, always, I always feel like I just get, like, cleaned up before I can figure out where I need to be pointing my gun. Good kills, uh, good trades there from GB. It almost was a blunder, because Agile was firing, like, at the wrong spot initially, but Rain managed to kill Pist, and then Agile's superior health managed to do him well against uh, yeah. Infrequent's push. Just face tanked the ZRS. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it frequent didn't have enough ammo left after initially killing Rain, right? So that's the big drawback to the ZRS, is once you yeah. run out of, like, it doesn't have a big clip. You can only kill, like, one support with it. It's got 30 bullets, right? But, yeah, its damage is... Uh, I mean, I'm sure Infrequent would say, as long as you just, you're just accurate and you shoot him in the head, it's fine, but... Yeah, it can Still takes rough. at least half your clip. Yeah, definitely. Hosomi's in that tall, uh, cheeky, small construction spot that she really likes. Agiles just look like he's playing defensive in a really cheeky spot with the Supa. First man through that door is dead. I don't care who you are. Oh, infrequent. Oh, he's check he's trying to check. Suna can, or Agile can hear that. Are they going to go? I mean, if it's Box, he can survive a shot, right? Yeah, it just depends if Box oh, looks the right spot. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's the max damage on support right there. About 90 damage is about all you can do with the Supa. Yeah. I mean, a support on 11 HP is almost, like, out of the fight now, though. Dead pack from Suna. Edgeal, no, Rain dies to pissed off in pillars. Putty and Shazam! Ooh, dead pack is infrequent. Boxeye's inching out, but he's very exposed. Yeah, I'm gonna take him by soft. So it's just Shazam now. Uh, medium health on both players, so it will be a tough sell here. He is in the vents, which can be a good position, but as soon as they call him out, it's going to be a little rough. Yeah, I mean, they can probably hear him, to be honest, at this point. And soon has got that MX, so any mid to long range engagement is going to favor him by a long shot. So Shazam really needs to be looking for the guy who doesn't have the ghost. <laughs> Aren't they? I think they're just trying to bait him onto the ghost That's, right now. They yeah. want him to rush it, because they know he's a recon. I don't know where Shazam's step pack was, but I don't think it's on the route they're taking up. Uh, he does have a ZRS, so he's actually in a great position right now, because even if they try to go to the alternate cap, he can just fly down and shoot. So it's actually going to be kind of a hard push for them. Uh, if I was them, I would bait with the ghost to the cap that he was- oh, he's pushing down now though. Ooh. Maybe identifying that like, hey, Maybe now's the time. Coming up to the top though. They kind of changed positions, Shazam was hoping he could get, like catch them and flank behind, and he's like making some speed, but he's got to go like right now, and Shaft should be up there already, he should not be waiting around. Oh, that Suna wants this kill, looks like it. Shazam probably knows he's there. Oh, it doesn't- oh, It's a drop! Kind of miss oh, Shazam wants to kill Suna. Oh, perfect. It's gonna be a timeout oh. though, unless- Soft, yeah, you're wow. insane. <laughs> you're so lucky that Shazam didn't kill you half a second earlier. I think it had already tied that. Uh, yeah, it did, but, but uh, uh... Yeah, Shazam did pretty well to tie that out, I think. I mean, I guess it's only like one gun versus one, and Suna wasn't full health, but... Yeah, I think that was a blunder by GB, though. Like, if Soft just went up the stairs, like, there was nothing stopping him. And then Suna could have flanked him from behind as Shazam's trying to catch up. I think stalling there was actually the wrong play. But, we uh, go 2-0 NSF still, uh, still GB's lead. So, I think Hasomi's, Hasomi's switched to support. I think it's a wise call though. I only like double recon if you're playing together on this map. Soft fighting Pissed and Shazam in long white. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God, so Pissed gets to kill, but Soft gets two back. Rains in the vents as an assault, always a cheeky play. Frequent gets sooner. So it's 3v3, 3v2. Alright, Rain's in the vents. They do need to be careful picking up this ghost. Yeah, and Agile's in, like, office. He has a support with full HP and an MX, so... Ooh, this could be dirty. Like, uh, they're fo so focused on the ghost right now. Uh... Oh, Box has got the perfect timing, though. Yeah, oh, Agile's gonna nice. get... Yeah, unfortunate. Like, if Agile had just gone, like, a second early, he could have gotten a free backstab. Yeah, and Borks is very low as well, actually, so... Rain is in the prime position, though. They have to they have to kill him to get the ghost. There's no other way to do it. And I don't know if they, these players are comfortable uh, enough doing the I mean, conference. I think they can grab the ghost and just kill him if he tries to... If he tries to drop. Yeah. So, so he gets the ghost, but the ghost ready. Oh, but Rain cleans him up somehow. How on earth did he survive all of that? 
uh, the spread on the oh, Bulls gets in with one HP remaining. Dang. Well played by this. They they forced him out. That's all he had to do. Yeah, with a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised he actually dropped. Like, uh, if you just rotated around, I think he could have gotten an angle on Wilson. But it, it it did work out in the end. I yeah. think the uh, the slow drop down kind of screwed up the spread on the gun, and then anger. Yeah, I hate dropping down. I hate like all the ladder stuff. I <laughs> I just wish ladders weren't. A thing in general in source but i guess oh, yeah you got like the ladder boosting on them and all this funky stuff that you get as a result like it's cool but them, also man. getting uh, off them could be a nightmare shazam going the vents again he's been going that pretty consistently looks like uh nobody's content to fight him there just yet yeah kind of like rain sitting on the sky bridge at spawn just waiting for someone to drop down maybe well so soon as waiting in the vents, because he's like, if I wait here long enough, eventually Shazam's gonna walk by and I'm blast him. The box finds the first kill. Yeah, not much damage back to me either. Stuff takes pierce, but Shazam is ready to trade. Him. Shazam grabs the MX and well, he's running from soon. Out of there. He does get out. Yeah. Still almost full health too. Nice. It's like Reigns screwing around with Boxite somewhere, I just can't get to him. Yeah, this spectating thing is really awkward. Uh, oh, nice, Shazam does get sooner. Now you're up 4v2. Most me and Putty trading yeah. some fire. Rain laying down the cover. Yeah, bullets through the smoke in office there. Is this still anyone's round? Like, all it takes is one out of position, Shazam, and he gets deleted. Rain going for the sneaky drop down. I do like that, that Putty and Rain are relatively close to each other, so that they can trade, maybe. And Frequent now calling with the Ghost, excellent decision. Would have actually maybe liked to see Shazam pick it up, because he has the lower health. Yeah. Oh, man, no, man. Oh, she's, oh, she's, she's at 25, support. and she's pushing yeah. as a support. Isn't gonna get punished though. She gets some free damage on Putty. Very nice. Yeah, they should definitely switch this though. I think. Yeah. But Shazam does get Putty. Uh, Rain takes Shazam out though. Oh, this is. Too oh. So he does get Rain. Nice. I was gonna say that's so greedy from Hosumi. <laughs> she barely survives that. If Rain gets that kill, it could it could have easily tied out. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely should have switched the guys. I mean, it worked out, but but uh. That was not the optimal play, I wouldn't have said. It's it's difficult though in those situations where you know you, you almost just don't want to take the time to to do the switch, even though you kind of know that you should. Yeah, it's something that like it doesn't feel natural until you do it a lot. Uh, still yeah. got just a recon Suna, recon Shazam. The rest is support and assaults. Suzuna is going to Suna's going aggressively into the ghost room in long white, but doesn't see anybody. Ooh, they be pissed, but pissed. bigger gun. I'm pissed gets soft as well. Oh my god. Triple kill right there, real real quick, real fast. <laughs> yeah. It's that's the thing though, it's like, you know, you lose a player and then you you, you kinda wanna you wanna get the the return frag so badly that you throw caution to the wind sometimes. Wasn't an unfortunate team kill there, but yeah, a little sloppy with Shazam with the ghost, like, pushing forward that aggressively till it had spooled up. But they still have a 3v1. Like, you still have that two-player advantage over a single support. So, I uh, can definitely maneuver around him. He is in great position to pick the punish the ghost pick up. Ah, uh, the box just walks into him, basically. Ah, uh, box is just doing box things. Yeah. Absorbing those bullets and then somehow clapping back even though he fired second. <laughs> Bit in the start, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes yeah, you just get NT, right? Like, I feel for Agile there. You start blasting his supports back, he snaps around just 180s, and you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all been there. It just, it is especially Borks, though. I, I don't know, something about his reaction is makes me laugh sometimes. <laughs> Twitch is insta kills you with the, with the shotgun. Yeah, you, like everyone's had that happen if you played against Box at least once. The man just deletes your existence. Shazam being a cheeky in the vents, but none of uh, GB is currently. Yeah, Zuna's gonna support as well. I do like this play. The Zuna realizing that like 
I keep running into players that are thicker than me and I'm face tanking the bullets, I should just fight them straight on. This, I don't know, it seems to become a theme lately that, you know, you, you play recon while you can, while you can have fun with it, and then as soon as things slow down... Uh, you, uh, just a... Oh, most of me gets the first kill on Putty. Putty should kind of show in his back in the smoke. As soon as coming to fight, though, does bring so host me down to thirty-two. Four v three. Three v three. Oh, trades happening everywhere. So he does get picked off at Buddha. Ooh, well played by Soft there, I think. I just uh. Yeah, good trades back and forth from the teams. Like, Suna pre-firing because he knows the player's gonna be there, but there was two instead of one, so they get the trade, and, like, it's just back and forth. Very, very well played on both, both teams. Yeah, a lot of action in office. I think pretty much all the kills happen around office stairs, right? Suna going back to Recon now that he's getting the MX drop. Kind of identifying that the ZRC was the downfall of the one round where he kind of face tanked the assault bullets. I think he's got the MX a few rounds now, but... Maybe it's just a you know, better play recon from this spawn, maybe. Or something. He's fast down suicide. He's going the long flank too. This really catches players off guard who aren't familiar with this flank because the timing is super weird. He can catch box, but box is already at suicide. So soon as just kind of like thinks they're camping when they're not. Yeah, I kind of like that route. Uh, strong two v one from GB there. Suna finally catching somebody. Looks like infrequent yeah, decided get to. On, uh, office stairs. He yeah. does take a ton of damage back for it though. Also be looking for the kill, but uh, Suna's way gone. Like Suna's like, nope, I'm out. Bye. Yeah. Definitely a worthy, a worth, worthwhile kill. And Pisk really loves this uh, server spot. Like it's a really strong spot, so I, I recognize it. Oh yeah, watching pillars. Soft is kind of doing an off angle. Putty's hanging around. Might hear Shazam in the vent if he's got godly ears. Uh, very like uh, both teams are kind of identifying very this slow, can go yeah. either way still. Yeah. Well, Shazam moving around pretty quickly. I think uh, as soon as game plan he... is to bait Shazam out and then get a kill and then they can steamroll the last two. He's looking oh at all. Oh, Shazam drops just and gets the kill. Into, yeah. It's 9 HP and he kind of bonks on the doorway. I don't think he had much chance of escaping there anyway, though. It, I don't know how he makes that work sometimes. Like, how do you just drop in and kill something? It's just the recon brain. When sometimes you know you can go, you just go. Well, I don't I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had it, but I don't. That, it's that killer instinct where, like, sometimes just because you know they're calling you out doesn't, like, you will catch them off guard by push doing the stupid thing, by pushing out, right? Because sometimes they won't even be looking at you because they think that, like, oh, I'm safe. You know that I know that you know that I know, right? One of those? That's, yeah. 4-3 now. Yeah, still, still pretty close. We do have a double lieutenant on N on uh, GB that we didn't we failed to identify. It doesn't look like anybody's opting for those uh, lieutenant Silly funny weapon. weapons. Yeah, I will tell you that. I think uh, AA can be very strong. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say if you get I mean, box in AA this match, it's gonna be terrifying. I mean, there's some glass around, but in general the ranges are perfect for for the AA. Yeah, you just pick a route that doesn't have glass, right? Or if you do have glass, you kind of maneuver yourself to get around it as quickly as possible. I think both teams are definitely feeling the pressure this round. A lot more angle holding and just kind of static play, like feeling out, like, can I get a small peek on somebody? No, like, really decisive peeks so far. Yeah, Shazam um, in the vents again, but I don't know, this is something I found is like you get the vents and then it's like oh okay what do i do with them now i think soon has got a cheeky debt oh, i gotta go nope okay we're not doing that uh i was yeah she soon's got a cheeky dead pack at the exit of small construction but i think that's way too obvious nobody's gonna see that maybe it's it's because it's so obvious no one expects it <laughs> <laughs> sometimes that works oh look some chest popping off angle holding working Soft. I don't know where he dropped him from. But. He dropped from the vent. Just... 
I will say, yeah, I... Oh, my gosh. That was a nice try attempt at the neg just soon as too quick. I was going to say, I love yeah, how dope. both teams are so close together. Like, they're not right next to each other, but they're close enough that as soon as somebody dies, they immediately go in for yeah. the trade. Really well done. This was kind of a feature of... Well, a lot of the games... Well, the game against Bonk as well, I feel like. It was like a lot of waiting, and then suddenly everything happened at once. Interesting play by Box there to actually drop instead of going for the kill. I like it, because Suna was going all the way around. Like, smart. He loves them drop downs. But he's being called out, right? So... Oh, like, look at the big brain on this man. He went he went in, so as soon as they picked it up, that they would have to, like, be scared that he was going to push them, so they dropped it to kill him. But unfortunately, he outbrained himself. Could he have been just capped on there? Probably, but... I can't, I can't remember which caps was which, but, uh... I, I think he, they could have, but they don't... They're not using the LT weapons anyways, and soon as already yeah, got 20, like... I guess just... I guess Rain would have gotten it, but... I think at this point you just you want rounds, don't you really? More than anything oh. else. Oh! Speaking of funny weapon. Suda's got the AA. He fucks up his hop know, though. <laughs> see what he can do with it. I'm not a, a huge fan of AA on on light, on recon even. Uh the thing is, like if you get an unprotected backline, you just destroy everyone. It's not good for face tanking people like assault or support, but yeah, I mean it's still a great gun, right? So goodbye. Like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's straight into force. I, I, I guess they were expecting it. You might have heard the cloak, but also two guns versus one gun. Like, oh, what box at literally yeah. one HP? <laughs> oh my oh. god. Box. Oh no! <laughs> but infrequent gets a nice rain on. A nice nade on Ray. Well, I was just about to say that Edu's at the Ghost and Box is 1 HP, so this is a 1v1 and Edu's got the HP advantage. Oh, infrequent wins these though. Oh, don't push. Oh, oh he does as well. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's what I mean by sometimes you just gotta do the dumb thing and just face take it, because if he hadn't reloaded there, oh, he yeah. would have been dead, 100%. You know what, though? I think I've, I've seen a clip of what happened there. I think. Agile was like trying to fake a reload or something, and he he accidentally tapped out or opened oh, no. So that's why he stopped moving. Oh, that's yes, That's why he stopped moving. Yeah. Reminds me. Uh, I don't remember which match it was. Like I picked up the ghost. And my intent was to like pick it up, drop it, and then grab my gun immediately to blast the guy who was waiting there. And instead, I just started typing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we've we've done that. We've all done that. So five four uh, NSF. Or sorry, GB. Still anyone's game. High high scoring game all around. Hoodie pushing right into conference, just so aggressive, like, all the oh, way through man. conference, kind of recognizing maybe that no one's really protecting that. putty has got a great flank. The only thing is, infrequent is literally, like, the most deep angle, like, you can take, but he just left. So... Usually this would be a great spot for Putty to be in because he could go flank the players at our small construction or flank the players at pillars, but looks like he's yeah. just opting to keep an eye on the ghost and maybe nade it if they pick it up. Listen, there's, there's no flanks if you just sit and spawn, right? <laughs> well, that's unironically the truth, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sam just flies into server. Does get one, but runs out of bullets before he can deal with the, uh, with the support. Does get some work done though, at least. Like, uh, made his life at least worth something. Yeah. I don't know whether that was all Shazam or. And Hasomi takes up Puddy, so that flank comes to to now. Yeah, you just like it's one of those things where like he had a great flank, but if you just sit there the whole oh. time, it effectively nullifies Bugs it. looked away from Suna, but took the buck shot and then just turned around and killed him. Yeah, Edgeil's at four HP, so it's on Rain here to do a lot of the leg work. So what's your play, Dis? Are you gonna threaten the drop, or are you just gonna go straight for the kills? Right now, GB's pretty split split up. I would personally want to go for this player that's up top and go kill him, and then go worry about the player that's on bottom, but looks like they just grouped up, so you no longer have that opportunity. Yeah. I, d I don't mind just grouping up here. Especially since you know one of them is literally 4 HP. As I say that, Box just kind of walks away from the ghost. But... He's gonna do know. the... Yeah, drop down. I think that's wise. 
GB playing it smart, one on both sides, to make it a little bit more difficult for them to get good flanks. And you'll get some good damage. All rain. Oh, very nice. I think... I don't know. I think, uh... That, that was closer than it should have been, really. And we was basically kind of like one, one and a bit players versus three there. Yeah, the, like maybe a little sloppy, but like it still worked out in the end. Yeah. I mean, Agile think got the opening shots on on Borgs. Like that shouldn't really be happening with Ghost Calls, right? It's just it's really hard with Ghost Calling, especially around their like opposite sides. Uh, yeah. Like if you can't look in both sides at the same time, so it, and also you can't call like until they've done something. So the set, if they peak unexpectedly, you don't you can't like predict that, right? Mm. It's always going to be a delay between what the enemy does and what your ghost caller does, right? True, true. So that's why sometimes I mean, you can see those like super cheeky peaks where like somebody somebody like quickly peeks, gets a kill, and then runs away. Like there's you can't stop that as a ghost caller. You can only call that they're there. Another pause. I'm not sure for what. Possibly Shazam crashing again. I know he had some issues. Maybe it's that pee break. <laughs> <laughs> Shazam is uh, I, I not moving, know. so maybe credit to that crash or something. Yeah. Gotta get his Amazon delivery. Pizza. He's going to fetch water from the well. So it's 5-5 five, five, though, so... Yeah, it's a really tense match for both sides here. Just showing that, like, these One definitely are GB two of the top teams. Uh, they do have two lieutenants on Jinra. Do they toss that AA to box? No. I think Shazam could do some really good work with it too, especially with how aggressive he is. He's not moving, so I think... Ooh, that's... that hurts. And they've had their timeouts, right? They've had their... I mean, tech can last like three minutes or whatever, but yeah. Like, as soon as in the vents, like, maybe looking for Shazam, who's just in the spawn. Yeah, I go Shazam. So yeah, I think... Pain. 4v5. Sometimes that can actually make your opponent more aggressive than they should be, though, and you can get some free kills. Oh, uh, so. yeah, yes. The, uh, it's like a Hasomi strat where you just yeet yourself off the top mm -hmm. of the building. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then you win the round anyway. A lot of players paired up here in, like, close sorry, quarters sorry. <laughs> looking, for, looking for some trades. Nobody's uh, biting yet. Agile's finally finding somebody, but... Oh. Ooh. But Agile also finds the frequency nade. Probably not what he was hoping to find. Equalizes the score, the player count here. Putty, putty beats equal. box. Good health left yeah. too. Well, well reasonable yeah, considering 20, how much 20, they were trading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> any any amount of health is good. This is uh, support I find. Hey, I'm gonna call this the pissed off spot from now on. Piss. This is your piss corner. Uh, <laughs> let it rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sees Suda, doesn't fire it very smart. Oh, oh. he does lose to Soft, though. So, Soft like, wise to the piss corner, but Hasemi trades it back. I was gonna say, if Soft doesn't check that spot because, like, he thinks that it must be safe because Suna dropped, ran through, it could have been a free kill, but... Well, well played. Oh, we're freaking just clean up Suna there in side office. Yeah, Suna try was fighting 2v1 there, maybe and a little too hot uh, to trot. It's a tie, right? It oh, I didn't tie. even see the timer, yeah. So I guess Suna was just like saying, hey, I have no reason to not go in. Everyone's got the points they're in. If I manage to 2v1, we win the round. If I don't 2v1, we die. Not a big not a big deal. So uh, that was a good job to tie from 4v5. Or yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe GB saw some mercy, you know, and I think decided so. not to not to push it. <laughs> yeah, the slow play for them actually maybe backfiring that round. They were like, hey, all we have to do is kill one guy and we can win, and instead it just, uh, yeah. the, the defensive let them get a free nade. But like you say, though, you can't, you know, you just one kill is not 
it's not a match decided by any like 4v5 isn't enough of an advantage, I don't think. Rain and aggressive push-up suicide pays off as he catches uh, pissed with his pants down. Uh, Soft should have seen that flash of the cloak and server, so he definitely knows Shazam's up top. Shots without uh, getting anything back in return, so. Tsuna's got that, like, uh, vent flank, but it frequents right in the perfect spot. It's now a uh, 2v4, though, and they're very spread apart. Ooh, can get oh, another they kill. are feeding him one, v one by one, though. Yeah, and the knight doesn't come to anything. I think uh, host me. Where is host me? Oh yeah, this is a very like this is actually a smart angle to hold. You're keeping them from getting to the ghost. This is about as safe as you can get. Now you're yeah, paired up. And frequent are watching each other's backs. So it's up to GB here to kind of win that first two v one and then pair the rest. But the angles are being held, so. Yeah, but you got more players. I don't know, so. I mean, kind of. Moving to help out in frequency, so they're already two guns. Does dice us off though? Yeah, I was gonna be trying to back up in frequent there because I think she assumed she was getting pushed, which she was, and then. Yeah, I think soft. Well, he's down to five, so I think he he paid for that engagement. Yeah, I think uh, GB is identifying like we'd rather tie this round out. We don't yeah. need to risk, yeah. but Rain is going in. Yeah, but I think Soft had, had, had run away. He was in a safe place. I quite like doing that, you know, just make sure one player's safe and then you can always just YOLO the last player in. Yeah, you, in this situation, you literally lose nothing. Like, in Frequent's got 30 XP, <laughs> there's, not a, there's not a fourth, like, yeah. a, a final secret hidden rank at 40 XP that you get an extra super secret gun. That's not how this works, so. Uh, we'll play so by both five sides. Five, and it's match point again. Shazam still got that ZRC. Like, I really wish they'd do some weapon swaps. Uh, like, he just benefits so much from having an aggressive gun. He's gonna run to Suna here. I just managed to live. Well, oh, barely. Meanwhile, well, Suna's getting lit up in server. Nice. Oh, I love this play from Pissed. He, he does die there, but he did like a considerable amount of damage and drew three players from GB to him. So, like, you have a lot of room yeah. right now to maneuver as Dis if you may take advantage of it. I mean, maybe he could have backed out, but, but... I mean, it's like, that's that server spot's such a strong spot, like, it, you don't really have, he got like... His, a, got his kill, so... Rain's behind in a good position, so is Agile. Yeah, it takes down in frequency. It's not, not looking great. <laughs> Shazam gets Agile. But he's so weak. I've lost track of how many I left. Rain, it's uh, I think it's 3v3, yeah, 3v3. So Rain and Putty uh, got a nice little crossfire here. But they run straight into box site. 2v2. Oh man, that was a well played 3 v three versus 1 there, and he does get the one kill, but oh, makes it least even. So we kind of, well, Rain is soft just kind of going around the corner, a little bit too overzealous maybe. Oh Putty, you're so brave. Because homie's at full and you still held that eagle, like what a ched. Yeah, and he's been called out. I think it's just Sam's on the ghost right now. Alright, so this is a round that, in my opinion, Dis needs to win. You've got a... Oh, and they do. Oh, oh man. The support hops. <laughs> I didn't see it on camera, but that, those were probably pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, she hopped through pillars and just... Putty was not ready. So yeah, map Was one. that it? To my boys. Is there really, I think, four ties? Oh, oh, yep, it must be because the demo ended. 